What's up guys? Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to fix a broken RAM stick with an oven. Oh god, I hope they like the intro. I'm really insecure about things. All right, for this you'll need a couple things. You'll need some aluminum foil, a broken RAM stick, which today I'm using this Savage DDR4, and you'll need an oven. All right, so I don't know actually if this will work, but I'm basing everything off of this article I found on the website Desk Decode, and I'll put a link in the description. Let's scroll up to the top where you'll see some crossbones and some dead ram sticks. Goes through and talks about how important they are, and then it says, uh, I'll suggest you bake your ram stick into, into the hot oven because providing that heat can reflow the solder joints on the PCB and rejoin all the broken connections. All the broken connection. My wife, my kid, happy again. And then he says he did it and it worked for eight months. And then it has a couple things. If your RAM's under warranty, you should not do this. That's actually good advice. This is my favorite little part. It says, there is no guarantee that you can fix your RAM perfectly, but the best part is this tutorial works 95% for all the time. 95% of the time, all the time, guaranteed to work. But make sure you only try to do it with a dead or faulty RAM stick. All right, let's look at the steps. So. Step one, preheat your oven to a minimum temperature of 150 degrees Celsius for three to five minutes. All right, well, let's look at preheating on this guy. First off, let's turn it on. Let's go to bake. Let's change bake's temperature, three to 400, which is about 200 degrees Celsius. So that should be good. And let's start that up. So let's preheat that for three to five minutes and we'll move on to step two. All right, now getting things ready while your oven is preheating, go grab a two by 10 inch foil paper and put both ram sticks on the edge. Well, we only have one ram stick, so that doesn't help, but grab this ram stick right here. We'll grab some tin foil. Boom, looks like he went shiny side in. All right, let's grab. Ah, he did it like that. Ah, come on. Not very good at tinfoil stuff. So let's just spin this up in here. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Boom. We got the ram stick in there. And now he wants, so we're going to fold these flaps upward like that. We fold them down again. Bada bing. Your oven should be ready for step three, and then we'll turn it. So you put it in there for two minutes at this temperature, and then we crank it up to 230 degrees Celsius for the next two minutes. Now the oven's preheated, and we are going to put the RAM into the oven. All right, I think I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it on this, this shelf right here. Dun, 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 Acha. Dun, dun, dun. All right, it's in the oven. Now we're going to set a timer for two minutes. Why is it taking so long? All right, now that the alarm has gone off, we are going to reset this right back to bake, and we're going to adjust the temperature to 450. And then we're gonna start that. Let the RAM cool down. 
For three to four minutes after baking, we'll need to open the oven door and let it cool. So we're gonna, we're just gonna stop that from baking. And we're gonna open her up. And we are going to let it cool for four minutes, just to be safe. We're going to let it cool for four minutes just to be safe because our dog is very upset. He says you shouldn't cook ram in the oven, that we need to stop this immediately. He's very upset, but I'm, telling, I'm trying to convince him that it's going to work and that we're going to have a fixed ram stick, but he's just running around in circles getting upset. Hello, I am his dog. I am very upset. I set up a computer right here and we are going to take a look to see if it worked. All right, shouldn't be hot. It is still pretty warm, actually, but it's not hot. It is freed, newly baked. Let's see if it worked. All right, I'm gonna go down here and insert it into the computer. I am actually on the ground on all fours like a small child. Or a dog, perhaps. Or a dog child, perhaps. I don't know. We're gonna turn this computer on, and we're gonna see if this method to fix the RAM really works. All right. Tossed on the computer. Hello darkness, my old friend. Not sure the monitor's on. Let's turn this guy on over here. Can I turn it off? Okay, now let me turn it on. Let us see. It's back to an okay, there it goes. DVI. Analog. DVI. Analog. It is not recognizing anything. So, doesn't look like it worked. Conclusion is it doesn't work, but it did say it doesn't work 95, it only works 95% of the time. I guess this was the 5%, guys. So, hopefully, uh, I have another RAM stick that doesn't work that only has solder on one side of the PCB. Maybe I'll test it with that and see if that works. If not, I'm not sure uh, that 95% it's too accurate. All right, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, too bad that the RAM stick didn't work. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't like the video, give it a dislike. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, uh, subscribe, and maybe I'll uh, start a whole series where I just cook computer parts in the oven and see if it works, or cook broken computer parts in the oven, see if it works. Don't want to break computer parts in the oven. All right. Thank you and have a great day. Uh, let me know in the comments if any of you guys have tried this at home and it worked for you.